Susan Hayward was the American actress best known for her passionate fictional portrayals of the dramatic lives of real people. But given the dramatics of her own life, Hayward made for a compelling character herself, and her life would have made for a great movie. The Brooklyn-born actress appeared in more than 50 films and was one of the most sought-after stars in Hollywood. When you think of Susan Hayward, you think of great dramatic comedy actresses who are real-life drama queens. Similar to Ava Gardner, women who had a tendency to play parts that were close to home. Susan Hayward had a habit of playing women who were going through really tough experiences and were even scorned and somehow make it through those experiences until they're hit so hard at the end, which is what finally brings them down. Susan Hayward played alcoholic. Susan was an alcoholic. Susan played women who were depressed and consumed a lot of sleeping pills and other medication just to try to get through life. Susan consumed a lot of sleeping pills and antidepressants. We can freely say what made Susan such a great actress, and again very similar to Ava Gardner, is she played women who were a lot like her. Very beautiful, really adorable, quick-witted, very intelligent and very honest. Notorious, generous, tragic and cruel, that was Susan Hayward the flamboyant and provocative star who won fame for her extraordinary performances. Hayward's on-set behaviour was odd. If Hayward wasn't fighting with her co-stars, probably envisioning her husband's head, then she was ignoring them altogether. One of her co-stars remarked, Susan never talked to her co-workers. It was extremely strange, as if we did not exist. Despite Hayward's increasingly weird behaviour, her performances were still top-notch. She was under too much stress. Hayward's divorce in 1954 had been simple enough, but the ensuing custody battle proved to be more than she could handle. Between trying to juggle her hectic filming schedule, or as she would have called it, her fighting with co-stars schedule, and an increasingly bitter custody battle, Hayward was about to snap. In order to get away from all of the stresses she was facing, Hayward wanted to take her sons to Hong Kong. However, it was Hayward's health that was the most worrisome. Without her needed escape, the stresses over her custody battle and the pressure of her filming schedule became too much. She attempted to end it all by overdosing on sleeping pills. She only survived the incident when detectives broke down her door and found her unconscious. Hayward had a slow but steady recovery from the throes of her depression. She eventually won her heated custody battle and took a small break from acting, appearing in only one or two films a year, as opposed to all of them. Most importantly, however, Hayward put the pieces of love life back together, and upgraded to a better man. Click here to watch this video next!